Today's lesson is the construction barricade, which is this. And uh, now we have a, a model that presents a challenge because you have um, angles, you have a, a few different parts. Um, we're using standard primitive and extended primitives. And um, we only have a scene here. Instead of just making one object now like we've done in the previous models, we're making a, a few, or really three different objects, or two different objects with a copy of one. So we're going to start out by making the barricade part of it, which is going to be um, comprised of boxes. Then on top of that, we have um, a chamfer box. This looks like, I want to say, an oil tank that's kind of squished down. And then these cones are um, their cones, and then their chamfer boxes underneath it. So let's begin with the um, the actual barricade itself. So to to create the barricade itself, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in the front viewport, and I'm going to make what's going to be like the support for the barricade. And I'll make a little thickness to it, and then I look at this. Whoops! I look at the um, the model. I can see it's kind of you know, I th honestly think that these things are square. It looks rectangular, but I think that's because we're seeing it at an angle. So I'm going to say these things are square. So I'm going to make this thing, um, the height, let's go 200, because that's about right. And on the width, let's go 15, and let's go 15 on the height. And then let's create one that's the correct color, which is black. And then, there we go. So we have one of the parts of the um, barricade done. And then I'm going to do what? I'm going to move it. Move it to zero, zero, zero. Then zoom all. OK. So there's the start of our barricade. Um, again, parametric modeling. If I make a couple more things and then I look back at that part and I say, you know what? I don't think it's quite long enough. We could always fix that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that object and I'm going to copy it. So control V to create a copy. And then I'm just going to move it over. I'm going to move it over. If I could select it. Okay. I'm going to move it over and just make it look about the way the proportions I want. I think that's about right. So I look down at my um, my X coordinate. It's 117.587. So I'm just going to make that 120. I'm just typing it in. And then there we have uh, one part of that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is well, we have these two um, black supports. Now we're going to make the other boxes that are going to uh, be the, you know, like a long rectangular box and then a, a smaller one. So I go to my box tool. And I'm just going to overlap this a bit. And I'm in the front viewport again, trying to make it look like the one in the picture. And what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to move it over here. Let's get my, um, I'm going to adjust my, my viewport a little bit so I can see better. And then uh, let's mess with the size of this thing and make it, make it just right. So I have right now 65 by 205 by 5. So the 65 I think is fine. The 205 will just make it 200. And then the 5.5 I'll just make it 5. And then this is supposed to be white. And then as far as its position, we have 64.6. That'll be 65, which we put it exactly right on the top. And then we have negative 16.04. So I go negative, whoops, negative 16. And the Z should be, let's try 66. I don't think this is, well, I think it's about right. Okay. So now I'm going to adjust my viewport and look at it, and then I'm going to compare it to the one in the picture. I think uh, I think we're pretty good. I think it's not quite thick enough, so I'm going to change that 5 to a 6, or actually maybe even a 7. And I think we're pretty good now. Now that we have that, what we're going to do is I, I could make another box. It wouldn't be that hard. But I still think it's going to be quicker to copy it. So I'm going to hit Control V to copy it. OK. Now I'm going to move this box down. And then I'm just going to change this 65 to, I don't know, 25. See if that looks right. And then I'm going to look at the picture of it. And I think 25 is not enough. So I'm going to go like 30. And um, 
it was real easy. I didn't have to move. And then the only axis I'm really going to change is my Z. Let's go negative 10 to make a nice even number. And I think we're pretty good. Um, look, I'm like barricade. Now I can see at this point, it looks like the legs are not long enough. So easy fix. I'm just going to select the leg. And on 200, I'm going to make it say 230. Of course, it goes up a little bit. So I have to adjust the Z as well to make it look about right. And that's going to be negative 16. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, 230. And then on the Z, I'm going to go minus 16. And then now we have, I think, uh, that is uh, pretty close to the one that there's, that's represented there. And now uh, what we're going to do is we can take this whole thing and group it. Remember, once we group it, uh, I should give it a name. I'm gonna call it Bar I'm gonna gr name the group Barricade. And now that we've done that, I think the easiest way to do to copy it will be just to do the mirror. Oh, you know what? Cancel. Before I do that, I'm gonna do this. When you look at the barricade, you can see it comes in at an angle. So. We're gonna do that. We're gonna angle it in first. So I'm gonna look at the the left viewport, and I'm gonna angle it in a little bit. I think that's probably good. And negative 15 is is the amount that we're gonna want, or that I'm gonna use anyway. And then now we can take that object, and uh, I'm gonna get off the rotate, and I'm gonna mirror it. And I just want to click copy. And now I have two of them. Now all I have to do is move it in. So that it's touching the other one. And there we go. And we look at it. Make sure it looks good. I think it looks good. I think now looking at it, I don't think the legs are quite long enough. If I was turning it in for a grade, I'd probably adjust it again. But I'm not going to waste your guys' time with adjusting that. You've already seen how to do it. So moving on uh, to do the top of this, we just need a chamfer box. This part will be pretty easy. I go to my, my create. And then I, instead of standard primitives, I'm changing it to extended because I want a chamfer box. And then the chamfer box I'm going to use will be right about here. And then I'm going to go back. Oh, and then I'm going to chamfer it a little bit. And then I'm going to change the size. Instead of 25, let's go 30 by 30. And then the height, let's go negative 20. And then this will be 4. And then when I look at it, I'm going to adjust it again a little bit. Oops. Oops. What did I do? Okay, there we go. So I'm going to take uh, this box and looking at it, I don't think it's nearly big enough. It's not. So I think I had it at 30 by or 25. Let's go uh, 35 by 35 um, by negative 15, and then adjust that. So I'm going to um, adjust this part right here as well. I'm going to move it in, and uh, I'm going to make it orange before I give my final measurement and make sure it's right. And then I'm looking at it just kind of floating there that looks good okay now the next thing we're gonna do well let me move it up, by the way to a nice even number negative 2.5 18 120 okay so there it goes and then we're gonna go to our crate we're still in extended primitives we're gonna use a an oil tank I know it seems kind of weird but that's what's gonna give us the structure we want let me see how much bigger Okay, so it's a, a little bit bigger than than this box. So I'll just kind of go up here, go about like that. And then there's my oil tank. And the oil tank is supposed to be kind of a pale yellow color, so I'll go with this one. And then I'm going to move it. I want to be on top of that box. So I'm just going to get it approximately in the right position. 
and I look at my numbers and I just adjust them so that they match up with the ones below it in evenness. Okay, so there is the um, the barricade. Looks pretty good. Next, um, I'll tell you what with this barricade, with that, well, I'm sorry, with the oil tank, it doesn't look very smooth. So all, what I, all I need to do here is take my sides, go up to like 30, and that smooths it out. And then what I'm going to do is adjust my size. I didn't do that yet. There we go. Now it's much smoother. It was kind of sharp edges before because I didn't have enough size. So moving on, I have to make a couple of cones. So we'll do that with a chamfer box. I'm going to do it in the top viewport so I make sure I get it the right size. That's about right. And then um, get my size. I go go 50 by 50 by 12 by 3. Okay. And then I need to move this thing to a nice even spot. I, I tell you right now, the X and Y, are, the Z is going to be off. So I'm going to move that. I want to even with the other object. So let's go negative... 43, negative 120, and then negative 126. Okay, and then that is supposed to be orange. And then um, it looks kind of it looks kind of small, but I think that's going to change once we get the other part of it done. No, I think it needs to be bigger. All right, so I'm going to change that. Let's go. Let's go 65 by 65. There we go. That's better. And then um, then next we need to make the cone part of it. So the cone is a, I'm, I changed the standard primitives cone. And then I'm just going to um, make myself a cone. And I'm going to make it orange. And I'm going to adjust my sizes. Let's go 20, 12. 90. And then I just move it. I have to move it a couple times to get it right. And this will be minus 44, minus 117, minus 115. And that should have it lined up on that uh, pretty well. I'm probably going to get the X and the Y. Minus 43, minus 120. Okay, so this is minus 43. I just want to match them up. And then, oh, I went minus 12. So I'm going to go minus 120 on that. Okay, and now i got them lined up. I think my cone isn't, isn't sharp enough, so I want to make that other radius smaller. Let's go like 9. That's what that looks like. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to change the other one too. Let's go like 23, 8, wider and pointer. Okay, that to me looks like a pretty good cone. I can take this and group it now. Call it cone. And then all we have to do is copy it. And then move that copy over. Somewhere over here. Which, by the way, I can see that that's not right in the z-axis, so I can I can move that down a little bit. I'm just gonna move this down and match it up. Cause oh, maybe it's minus 80. That's it right there. So I'm going to take this one, do the same thing, minus 80. I wasn't very careful about getting the z before. Now it's good. And what you, you should have at this point is a construction barricade, which I can look at any direction. It looks good everywhere around. You know, these things right here, yeah, I mean, you could, take, you could technically take them and move them down a little bit so they're not floating, I suppose. But generally, everything else is real good. It's all lined up nice and even, and that's what I'm going to be looking for. So... 
There's the construction barricade. That's the one I made. That's the, the one. So I think that um, should do it.